I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve an exponential equation. The equation here is half to the power of x minus 1 equals to 8 to the power of 3 minus x that is given to us and we need to find product of x minus 1 and 3 minus x. So that is the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now these types of questions where we are incorporating a couple of things are seen in test papers of uh, competitive exams and also for new SAT. Now if you are preparing for such exam, it would be very helpful to go through this list which has 40 different types of questions for you to practice. So let's see how to solve. We are given half to the power x minus 1 equals to 8 to the power of 3 minus x. From here, we can find the value of x, right? So, from the given equation, we will solve for x. And once we have done that, we will substitute the values. We will sub, so we'll substitute x and calculate the answer. So, that is a simple strategy for this question. Let us see how to solve this. This is interesting. It is half to the power of x minus 1 equals to 8 to the power of 3 minus x. Now to solve exponential equations, what we are looking for is a common base. So it is important to have a common base. So the strategy has, let me write down, strategy is to have common base. Okay, and then we'll compare the exponents. So base could be 2, right? So if I make this half, uh, you know, half could be written as 2 to the power of minus 1, right? This is what I'll do here. I'll write this as 2 to the power of minus 1 to the power of x minus 1. And 8 can be written as 2 cubed, right? So 8 is written as 2 cubed, 3 minus x. Now, we could write this as 2 to the power of, when you multiply this, you get minus x plus 1 equals to 2 to the power of, multiply this by 3, right? So it is 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3x. Is that okay? So it's power rule which is applied. Now we have common base which is 2. Their exponents should be same. So from here we can say minus x plus 1 should be equal to 9 minus 3x. We can now solve for x. We get 3x minus x equals to 9 and bringing 1 to that side 9 minus 1. 3x minus x is 2x which is equals to 8 and that gives us x is equals to 8 over 2 and that is 4. Is that okay? So we get the value of x as 4. So we get a solution for x. So this is the first part to find the value of x. So we know if we solve this, we get x equals to 4. Now we can find the value of x minus 1. So we know x is equals to 4. And we need to find what is product of x minus 1 and 3 minus x. So these are the exponents, right? So when you give such values, at times you get puzzled, like what to do now? How are they related with the solution? It is kind of straightforward. First, you find the value of x, substitute, and get your answer, okay? So now, we'll substitute 4 here. So we get 4 minus 1 times 3 minus 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. And that gives you minus 3 is your answer, right? So, so we can write down our answer, which is x minus 1 times 3 minus x is equals to minus 3, okay? So that is how it can be solved. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Also, you can always share your questions, and I'm more than happy to answer them. Thank you, and all the best.